Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tokyo Kronos. So since last time I did a little bit of investigating, uh, found out what my weird visual bugs that I had were coming from. Um, it's all fixed now. Everything looks great. And honestly, it was super distracting before. Completely gone now. Looks great now. And uh, also... Everything looks pretty good from your guys' end, too, after, you know, doing all the editing. I can't really see it while I'm recording it, so it's really an afterwards editing, but it looks all right. A um, little bit of weirdness with the camera being attached to my face. I'll try to avoid wiggling my feet or my body too much to, you know, have that happen. But uh, overall, pretty good. And I am excited for us to get going here. So last time... On this big screen, there was a message, something along the lines that said, uh, like, I'm dead who killed me or something like that. I don't remember. Some kind of cryptic message that popped up and made a lot of noise up here. And uh, so we will continue. Though she doesn't explicitly say what after, it only serves to drive home the weight of the situation. There's a killer among us. We need to find that person and get rid of them. That seems to be what the message seems to be saying. Sorry, let me readjust this headset. Give me just a moment. All right, that's much better. If you don't have it adjusted just right, it uh, gets a little hard to read stuff. Uh, there's a murderer here. Momono, Momono? Kamiya Morozumi Kagiyama Ma Machi Koji Togoku Nikaido. Monomo could never hurt anyone. Momono? Yeah. Kamiya's the honest, upright sort of leader. He wouldn't do something as dirty as killing someone. Morizumi is an absolute stickler for doing what's right. Kagiyama is the nicest guy I know, and he has an incredible sense of empathy. Machikoji would... Okay, so basically the answer is nobody. Machikoji would never let people hurt others. Togoku always brightens up everyone's spirits, but, you know, she could murder someone. Nikaido abhors any sort of violence. I can't imagine any of them to be a murderer. Absolutely no doubt about it. I wonder, maybe we're just reading it wrong, but that's what Togoku said, so it has to be right. Still, I can't believe it. I refuse to. Maybe someone's here got a hidden side to them? If that was the case, then maybe it isn't so far-fetched. We stopped hanging around each other since around middle school. I can't exactly say that I know what makes them all tick. Okay. Yeah, they're all kind of around me now, so if I want to see them all, I gotta... Well, I'm in a chair still, like last time, so I kind of gotta pivot a little bit. And I also... Sorry, I'm charging my microphone right now, so there's a cable connected to it. I'm trying to keep it out of the way, but I... Like I... You know, like you imagine, I can't see it. Yeah. Kogoku seemed to be anxious, based on her expression, so I said no one reflex to ease her mind. I'm sure even she can tell that they were just empty words. It'd be better if I just tell her what I honestly think. She's confident. She has a confident look on her face. Are they all like doing stuff while I'm not looking? I recall back in elementary, whenever Togoku managed to read what I was about to say, she would have the same sort of look on her face as I got flustered. <clears throat> Just as I predicted, that sort of self-assured expression. I do like this back, sorry, trying to adjust my headset a little bit. I do like this background music. It's uh, feels very, you know, like you're in an empty world. 
It's like our conversation was just some sort of experiment to prove her, prove her hypothesis. I don't quite like how she has us in the palm of her hand back then and now. なんだよ。僕が何を言うか分かってるなら、いちいち聞かなくていいだろう。そうじゃないよ。いくら予想して、そうなる確率がたとえ100%だとしても、試して。どうして? The chances are already at 100%. Basically, it's like rolling a die that is a one on every side. There's nothing to be gained. それって意味がないことだろう。そんなことない。頭の中のことは所詮頭の中のこと。試して。なんで。Sorry. <笑> 僕の心が温かくなる。なんだよ、それ。だから、ありがとう。随分遠回しな俺だな。At the same time, her expression also feels a little off to me. Unlike her usual capricious demeanor, she looks timid, almost frail. Before I'm able to mull over it any further, I sense that something else is going on with the rest of the group. Wait, he's got some food? Oh, convenience store, I think. Or something like that. It looks like a convenience store. Although, other than this one spot, it does feel a little claustrophobic. Um, let me change one quick setting. Alright, sorry about that. I think it might have been the motion smoothing, because I was starting to see it come up again. I don't know. Anyway. I'm not the slightest bit hungry. Honestly, it feels like my stomach's hard as a rock, because I'm all nerves right now. I'd probably end up tossing out whatever I eat. Though Kamiya is trying to play it cool, he can't possibly have any appetite in a situation like this. No, he can be sort of superhuman in some ways. He really might be hungry despite all this. Kamiya is likely likely proposed eating together to help dispel the air of uncertainty around us. If that's the case, then there's no reason to object. We all split up to look for food, as well as to look around the area under Kamiya's precise directions. Machi Koji, Togoku, and I headed to a nearby convenience store. Meanwhile, Kamiya and Morizumi are staying at the Scramble, Seems like there's something they need to set up. <laughs> and then there's me, who hasn't even touched a single item yet. なんかただで持ってくの。悪い気がするな。仕方ないよ。非常時なんだし。それに僕たちが食べなくてもこの食料はいずれ腐る。廃棄品をもらうようなものだと思えばいいよ。そりゃそうだけど。でもいい気はしない。それなら何を買ったかメモっておけばいいよ。それで後で払えばいいでしょ。そうだな。そうするか。We're all trapped here with pretty much nothing but the clothes on our backs. No money and nothing to make notes with. なんだよ。いや、律儀だなと思って。そう。みんなだってこんなもんでしょ。not him. なるほど。少なくとも町工事君は違うみたいだよ。東国も町工事もすごいな。僕はとても冷静でいられないよ。みんながいるから。昔のみんながいるから、ちょっとだけ平気なんだ。それは僕もちょっとわかるかな。そう
she's just as amicable. Despite talking with her again after over a year. I suppose she's the sort of person who isn't as concerned with the particulars of human relations. そんなことない。僕はこう見えて結構寂しがりなんだよ。こんだけあれば3日は生きられるよ。天気もうだけど。Let me, uh, one more config thing. We're gonna move the window height up just a little bit and see if that, see if that gets in the way of the text. That might help a little bit. He does have a point. The temperature here is just right. It's April right now, so it's the season where you don't really need any air conditioning. Maybe it's because there's no one around that the air conditioning isn't on. Or maybe... え、そうなの。え、なんだよ。みそうなんじゃないかなとは思ってた。渋谷ってもっといつもうるさいでしょ。just being here has been nothing but uneasy, though. Enough that you wouldn't even realize all the other little things like the electricity. In that sense, I suppose it makes sense that he didn't realize. So, those monitors. Now that she mentions it, the monitors showed that creepy message. Maybe they were actually actually were running. So the display was treated at all. Are it mother Tashkamena Kate Naikara? Nantomo Yanaikado Nemo Nanaja Passant of Krino Kakrit that she got to Mo. Dosta Display in message you outsider. でも僕らが使える設備は限られている。そういうことだよ。そういうことだよってどういうことだよ。クロノス世界がそういうものだからミッションに特化しているんだよ。今回の場合は犯人探しというミッション遂行に余分な要素は全て省かれている。I'm glad we have someone here that knows what's going on. Memories that have been trimmed out? It feels like I just heard something incredibly important there. Perhaps it might even be a hint as to why it's spe specifically us here in this world. But no, let's not dwell on it too much. Regardless of where you are, there's some things that are best left untouched. Even Togoku decided not to talk about it. Right now, I should just focus on the miraculous coincidence that managed to bring all eight of us together. Oi, oi, wakaru yo ni itte kure yo. Ore no atama ja wake wakan ne yo. Son na ni sekasanai de yo. あとでちゃんと話すって。なんだよ、気になるだろう。ユリアはいつもそうだよな。大事なことを濁して全然言ってくれない。そうかもしれないね。こんなに人が少ないと歩きやすいよな。Okay, so I guess we're just on like a little side seat, uh, side street, I should say. Shibuya is constantly crowded, day or night. The moment you get separated from someone, 
you won't be able to find them without contacting each other with a phone. But now I can see anyone even a hundred meters away. It helps when you're so tall, I guess. ってことは何でも司法台ってことだよな。な。町工事はさっきコンビニですでにやりたい放題やってただろ。ここって確かジムだよな。いつもめちゃくちゃ混んでて入る気もしなかったけど、今なら貸し切り。ジムはいいや。
運動量はぬいぐるみの私といい勝負ね I'm always sitting down at school too I must retort but I'm sure she's on a different level entirely I can't imagine her sitting down even when she's taking a break or on her days off just sinking into a chair それにしても夢みたいここは仲間がたくさんまるで楽園ねにぎやかで嬉しくなるわそんなにぬいぐるみ好きだったんだ好きよだからユリアはいつだって私を持ち歩いているんじゃないパティだけが好きなのかと思ってたもちろん私がナンバーワンでもね仲間は多ければ多いほどいいものよぬいぐるみをたっくさん集めていずれ王国を作るのが私とユリアの夢なんだから。I'm glad we're really getting some stuff done. <laughs> really finding out the truth behind this world and why we're here. And jumping into a pile of plushies. Togoku is pretty short, so it looks like a mascot. She looks like a mascot of sorts. I can easily imagine her hugging a stuffed toy. On the other hand, I thought all she was into was physics. So seeing her so worked up about stuffed toys is actually pretty surprising. You も昔はぬいぐるみが好きでね。部屋に行くとどこで寝るのってくらいにベッドにぬいぐるみが敷き詰められてたよ。やっぱり東国も部屋はぬいぐるみで溢れてたりするの？ああ、いやそんなことないよ。Not since the event. パティの一体だけだよ。そっか。欲しいもの。たくさんあるんだけどね。なかなか買ってもらえないんだ。そろそろ町工事、戻ってきてもいい頃だよな。あれから2時間は経ってるね。荷物は放置されてるから、まだ中だと思うんだけど。Maybe. Unless he got kidnapped. Suddenly, I hear a voice coming from above us. Yo, o m a t a s e i m a k a r a s o t i k a Are you behind this window? Startled by Machi Koji's voice coming from the gym window above, Togoku looks back up, then back down, hiding her face with Patty. Oh, Dosa? Tete Kurtoki, a Fuku Kiroyo! Togoku got freezes shut to the Roga! Okay, I guess we're going, just supposed to. We're just supposed to take their word that he's up there somewhere. He's adapted to this deserted world way too quickly. We're just gonna have a little snack over here. Oh, we got another table. Oh, we have. Is that a third table? Yes, it is. And I'm just standing right here in the middle of it all. <laughs> Kamiya points someplace with his thumb. The Tokyo building. Well, his build is on the slimmer side. And Morizumi being a girl, they had a hell of a time bringing it over, I'm sure. The others come back from their expeditions, placing all sorts of snacks and chocolates on the table. It's like some cheap imitation of a party. Is anyone else like doing anything? Should I. I don't want to miss anything if they do something interesting, although I imagine all they're really going to do is just slightly move and change expression. That's all they've done so far, you know, in the background. So, I don't have a cup, just a torso. Kagami no Kabea, I know message. Who on the Monoga Oi? Kito Mina Jibun de Omotiri or Fuanda Rossi, Koito Korekara no Koto Kangaruto. We're worried, all right. What's going on? What should we do now? We're completely lost. 
we're so in the dark that it doesn't even feel real. The trip to the convenience store and back helped to drive the point that there really isn't anyone else here, and I'm slowly beginning to accept the situation. The further we delve into this, the more things there are that need consideration. If this is the same as the Bala Balashika incident, there's someone who serves as the trigger that keeps the space running. And until that person is gone, then we're going to stay trapped in here indefinitely. I'm dead. Who killed me? But who exactly was killed and who is the killer? I hate that I'm actually doubting someone here. でも、Memories of our elementary escapades resurface one after the other. <laughs> the scene was just so funny that I can't hold my laughter back. It spreads to Momo no and Kagiyama, who likewise laugh along with Kamiya, Morizumi, and Machi Koji. Oh, look, every, everyone's happy now. Except, uh, Togoku, I think it is? Yeah. And, uh, what was her name? I can't remember. Boring girl over there. Kanpai! Nikaido, yeah, that's her name, Nikaido. And Togoku remained stoic to the end. Instead, staying quiet. Where's our good old Kampai?